It's likely that you've heard the old adage about how to survive an attack by bears. While it offers some sound advice, there are other strategies to consider. For instance, slowly backing away from a brown bear is a more advisable approach than playing dead. When it comes to venturing into bear territory, carrying a shotgun is always a good practice. Even the formidable white polar bears have their weaknesses. In this video, we'll explore the story of Garrett Carlson, a Canadian man who had a harrowing encounter with an aggressive polar bear and lived to tell the tale. Let's journey back to September 7, 2013, when the town of Churchill was mostly fast asleep. Churchill is a northern Manitoba town situated on the west shore of Hudson Bay. It's located far above most other Canadian populated areas, with the closest large settlement being roughly 250 miles to the south. The region has a rich cultural history, with people leading their lives and hunting there long before Europeans even made it to the Americas. Visitors come to Churchill not just for its history, but for the impressive Canadian scenery. With boreal forests to the south, Arctic tundra to the northwest, and Hudson Bay to the north, there are plenty of activities to entertain tourists who want to experience what the town has to offer. Churchill tourism heavily rallies on something not many other areas in the world can brag about. The polar bear migration. Starting in the 1980s, the town had developed safe ways for tourists to witness the massive polar bear migration. There are guided tours through the wilderness, bear watching from vehicles built to explore the tundra, or tourists via boats offering the possibility of seeing bears in the non-winter season. On September 7, 2013, Garrett Cowlson, a 40-year-old bearder agent, found himself in a precarious situation in Churchill. Having only been in the area for two weeks, he was not aware of the significant polar bear population and the precautions locals take to avoid dangerous encounters. Churchill, being the polar bear capital of the world, had a unique polar bear jail where bears who posed a threat to the town and its inhabitants were tranquilized and released when the bay froze over. Cowlson, being from the urban area of Winnipeg, was not accustomed to such a setting. He went out for drinks at the only year-round hotel in town, the Seaport Hotel, to celebrate the end of his second week at work. After a few drinks, he decided to walk back to his rented home, which was only five blocks away. He was unaware that there were no residential properties on the street and only businesses. As he walked, he heard a muffled sound and saw a polar bear charging towards him. He immediately ran but stopped when he realized that there were no homes in sight, only businesses. Cowlson turned to face the bear and attempted to scare it away by shouting, yelling, and waving his arms. Unfortunately, these tactics were ineffective, and the bear attacked him. It is essential to note that September is a month where polar bear encounters are more likely to end badly as they are more active in the months before the ice freezes, and they can make their way to the shores. Cowlson, being new to the area, was not aware of this and did not take the necessary precautions. The incident serves as a reminder of the importance of being aware of one's surroundings and the potential risks that come with venturing into unfamiliar territory. The white beast possesses an innate understanding of their strength and ferocity, even from a young age. Garrett Carlson, in a state of panic, frantically searched for a place of refuge. As fate would have it, he stumbled upon a bakery and raced towards the door in hopes of finding it unlocked. Unfortunately, the door was locked, leaving Calson to grapple with the knob to no avail. The situation took a turn for the worse as a young polar bear appeared and pinned Calson against the door, its jaws and sharp teeth poised to strike. The bear relentlessly attacked Calson, biting and scratching him all over his body. In a moment of instinctual desperation, Calson resorted to using his phone as a tool to defend himself. Without hesitation, he thrust the illuminated screen into the bear's face, causing the confused animal to back away and accidentally knock over a plant pot. Calson seized the opportunity to flee as fast as he could and finally found refuge among strangers on a nearby deck. After escaping the bear's grasp, 
Calson was picked up by a taxi driver who helped him receive the necessary medical treatment. Meanwhile, the bear was captured and placed in a detention center for evaluation. Calson, who returned to work feeling grateful to be alive, advises newcomers to Churchill to avoid walking after dark and to opt for a cab or personal vehicle instead.